Oh man, I've got some breaking news for you guys. Logan Paul is supposedly going to be fighting Mike Tyson. Jake Paul is going to be fighting Tommy Fury, apparently. And uh, we might see a Nate Diaz versus Tony Ferguson clash. So uh, we're just going to jump straight into this. Three kind of big sources of news I'm going to talk about what's popping with these news with this news first off man mike tyson versus logan paul is it gonna happen and why are people saying it's gonna happen now keemstar put out a tweet saying that sources are telling him that it's gonna happen so you know we don't we don't love to trust him but then we have sources like sb nation um sport bible even coming out talking about it uh even bjpen.com you know talking about it uh a lot of different sources that are fairly reliable talking about this, but they're using uh, Keemstar as their main source in most of them. Not all of them, but a decent amount of them. And so the report is Mike Tyson is set to take on Logan Paul in February of 2022. Um, do I think this could happen? Yeah, I actually do. I, th- I would not be completely shocked. Man, Logan Paul, he you got to give the guy props, but uh, I mean, you got to give him so much respect. And it's really interesting. And... and uh, Logan might have a bit of an edge in this because he is so youthful. It, it, it gets to a point where that youth beats the experience when the experience is so high, when the age is so high. And uh, it makes me a little nervous for Tyson, not saying Logan Paul would knock him out because I don't see that happening at all. But, you know, if it's an exhibition, we'll probably see a draw. And I think it will go. I think this will go the distance, but I think Logan Paul wins on most scorecards. Um, but that's just an early prediction. But man, you cannot disrespect Mike Tyson, Logan Paul. He's not an amazing boxer. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I, I mean, now that I say it, man, I I would I would take be taking Mike Tyson just out of pure respect. Um, you know, I, those guys respect each other too. I'm sure. I don't think it'd be like this big trash talk thing. I don't think it'd be too disrespectful to the sport, even though it kind of is to have a YouTuber in there with Mike Tyson. But, uh, I mean, let me know what you guys are thinking for this fight in the comments down below. I feel like Logan Paul, um, he's got a he's got a couple f- uh, inches on Tyson. Not to say Tyson's ever dealt with that, man. He was 5'11 heavyweight. I mean, he can deal with that no problem. Um, I mean, does that right hand have that power that it used to? Does that left hook have the power that it used to on Mike Tyson? I mean, the Roy Jones Jr. fight didn't tell a ton He's definitely got a dog in him still, and I I think uh, I don't know, man. I, I I don't love the matchup for Mike Tyson, but at the same time, I gotta take Mike Tyson just out of respect. So that's that's that first piece of news. The next piece of news is supposedly um December in December this year, December eighteenth, um according to multiple sources. Jake Paul is gonna be taking on Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury's like nine and zero. Jake Paul's four and zero. Um. It's an interesting fight, man, and uh, uh, it's hard to predict because Tommy Fury, he's not amazing, but also, you know, according to John Fury, he's gonna, he just has issues when all those lights are on him, when he, when the bright lights are on, and, and that's the mental side for him, and he's actually really good, and, you know, the way the, Tyson and John Fury they're talking about they're putting a lot of pressure on Tommy saying that he's not going to be a fighter anymore if he can't beat Jake Paul and uh I mean people really do underestimate Jake Paul sure he is a YouTuber and guys I cannot stand Jake Paul don't get me wrong man I'm not a fan of Jake Paul at all but I try and be unbiased on here uh when I report on these things and you can't you cannot count Jake Paul out man sure he was he's a YouTuber sure he's a YouTuber Sure, he, um, I don't know, hasn't boxed forever, but when most people start boxing, they can't do it full-time. Jake Paul's done it full-time, man. Jake Jake Paul really has done it full-time. I mean, you look at his social media, or I mean, even his YouTube channel, very rarely are his content going out from him on YouTube, on Instagram. Uh, I guess a little bit on TikTok, I guess, but I mean, I, 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 mean, I could be wrong, man. I'm not a big Jake Paul fan. I mean, I'm not a Jake Paul fan at all, but you know what I'm saying. I think he's really taking this boxing thing seriously, and uh, it's an interesting matchup. Tommy Fury isn't amazing, man. I, I watched, I watched a little bit of his last fight, or I think I actually watched the full fight. Maybe just the last couple rounds. Maybe didn't watch the first round. But the guy he fought was a former MMA fighter who was like, 
I don't know, guy was a wrestler. Like, he, he, he had decent footwork, but that was really the only thing for him. And Tommy Fury couldn't put him away. Tommy Fury had a rough time. Tom, the guy he fought used to fight at, like, 135. Used to be a bantamweight in MMA. And Tommy Fury couldn't put him out of, get him out at, like, one, I think it was at 180. It, it was... It, it wasn't the best performance from Tommy Fury, but he is an undefeated fighter. Uh, I think he's 9-0, 7-0. I think he's 9-0. and But, you know, the, uh... I think we were all expecting Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury, but this quick turnaround for Jake Paul is fairly impressive. Going from that August 29th fight back to December, Jake Paul's a real fighter, man. He fought Ben Askren this year too, didn't he? Did he fought Did he fight Ben Askren in 2021? I don't even remember, man. Yeah, he did. I think he did. Yeah, he did. But it's still, like, it doesn't seem like the same year, man. It, Jake Paul's had a good quick turnaround. He seems like a real fighter in the sense that he's actually fighting fairly frequently. Um, I'd have to look at Boxing Rec to see Tommy Fury's recent fights. Uh, I just remember that last. I don't even remember the guy's name. But apparently that's, uh, you know, in the works or already signed. And uh, apparently Tommy's going to have to change his last name to Tommy Fumbles. So let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below about this one. Early prediction, I'm going to take Jake Paul by decision. Uh, I'm going to take Jake Paul by decision. Maybe like a l- Yeah, I don't think he finishes Tommy Fury, but I think he does get a decision. And the next piece of news is, well, Nate Diaz versus Tony El Kikui Ferguson. Man, uh, Diaz put out a tweet, just a kind of a cryptic little thing, hinting at this fight with uh, Ferguson, just putting out a picture of Ferguson. And that's actually a really interesting fight, man. If you're an MMA fan, that's got to get you really, really excited because, oh, man, that's like... Those guys are so tough. Those guys are just the embodiment of uh, of fighters. I mean, what Tony Ferguson ha- has said some not nice things about Nate Diaz in pat in past years, and uh, man, it's that's a really interesting fight, man. I Nate Diaz it, uh, he only has one fight left on his contract. I'm pretty sure, so he might be trying to fight out of that contract. Maybe get a Jake Paul fight. I mean, <laughs> that's where the money's at apparently. But uh, man. Tony Ferguson, Nate Diaz, some of the toughest dudes in the sport. I oh, Tony Ferguson has been on a massive decline lately, but at the same time, the uh, the amount of talent in that lightweight division that he's been dealing with it is so crazy. Um, does that fight get contested at 155? Um, or does do we see it at 170? Ferguson's fought at 170 before, I'm pretty sure, but. Does that fight get that fight will probably get booked at 170? Uh, I mean, Nate Diaz calls the shots at the UFC. It seems like man, he wants a fight. He's gonna get that fight. So I think that fight's gonna happen, and uh, it'd be pretty interesting. It'd be very very exciting with that main event of fight night. Would that be like a co-main five round special thing? A little Nate Diaz send off. Uh, I mean, I don't know what it would be. Both guys have taken so much damage in their careers too. It's they're just so tough, man. They're so durable. It would. It's probably gonna be like a five round war. Uh, a five round war, go the distance. Um, man, it, it's hard to judge Tony Ferguson. Is it? Is it? He's declined so much, or is it the, the his his opponent's gone up so much? Uh, because you know we have that. What he he lost to uh, Gaethje, which no shame in losing to him. Lost to Oliveira, the current champ. No shame in losing to Charlie Olives, and then lost to Benil Darius, Benny Darius, who, in my opinion, has a very very good shot in the coming years of becoming a champion. I think Benil Darius is so underrated, and I mean <laughs> that the heel hook he had on Ferguson. I think it was a heel hook. Uh, it was so nasty, but that shows how tough Ferguson is, man. It's so it's hard to tell is his opposition going up. And is Ferguson declining or is just his opposition going up? Because Ferguson didn't really put up a fight in that Benny, Benny Darius fight uh, and put up no fight in the Olives, in the Charlie Olives fight. So it's interesting to see. It's hard to tell. Um, you know, we look at what Nate Diaz recently fought Leon Edwards. He's so durable, man. He, locked, he rocked Leon late in that fight. So it's tough to call. I might have to take Nate Diaz. <sighs> I don't. I, I kind of sound like a fanboy if I take Nate Diaz there, but I feel like he probably could win that one. I, I mean, it's hard to tell with Ferguson, man. Is he declining? I don't know if Ferguson's really declined, though. I think his opposition's just gone up. We've not really seen a massive decline from Diaz ever. So for that reason, I think I'm gonna take Diaz right now. But I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to study up on Ferguson. I'm gonna have to look at 
look at those last fights again, go back and revisit them, and uh, go back to his fights prior to that, see if there's been a real change, his opposition's just gone up, because I know Gaethje's amazing, I know Daryush is amazing, and I sure as heck know that Charles, Charles Oliveira is amazing, so, uh, man, it's, it's, a, it's exciting times to be a combat sports fan, man. UFC cards. I, I'm gonna. I'm hopefully gonna get a video talking about how UFC cards have just become so stacked lately, um, because it's just kind of crazy to see. But that's gonna have to do it for today's video, man. Make sure you guys like. Make sure you guys subscribe. All that. Let me know if you like this little MMA news roundup that I'm gonna start doing, or combat sports roundup that I'm gonna start doing towards the end of the week. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video, man. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I already said that. But peace.